Welcome seekers to Spirit Vibes. This home for the holiday forecast is for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cusp. Please be mindful that this platform is designed to inform and to teach, so you may want to bring your learning tools. Also be mindful that to support the platform with your likes, your shares, your comments, and by subscribing. Now let's prepare for your messages from source, whatever it is that she wants to relay. I know it'll be beneficial, so please stay away. All right, overseers, welcome back to Spirit Vines here at the Tarot Temple one more again. I know it's been a minute, but you know I got to take care of my business too. I want to start out by saying happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, and happy New Year's, okay? We're going to go ahead and get started with your planetary lineup along with your mood or your moon um, energies and your one word reference. Then we're going to dive on into the forecast. So, hope all is well. Hope you gain a lot of um, insights and that it is, as I know, beneficial. The love of Saturn external energy. All right, I like that already. Okay, anytime I see the heart of Saturn being shown, it's like um, it reminds me of. You know, a stoic person that you admire. Maybe it's a teacher who don't, you don't never see them smile or you'll never hear them laugh. But when they do, it just lights you up. That's the cups of Saturn. Okay, that's what's going on external. Internally, you're dealing with the pentacles or diamonds of Neptune. All right, kind of like that already. I feel like the doors are opening up for you. Anytime I see Saturn in this kind of mood, showing love, there are pardons I hear. Okay, and there's blessings. It's shining upon you. Okay, and probably have, helping you manifest your crazy ideas, your dreams. Um, there's a lot of optimism here. Your originalities that you're building on, that you are expounding on. And he is um, giving you the grace to do that. Okay. Um, but some of you, this may be the love of your teacher or the teacher expressing its love for you. Okay, this is God. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. That's the cups of Saturn. All right. So, um, going to help you with that milk. You know, this is my colleague's the milkshake you got. You know, she said, uh, I could teach you how to shake, but I'm going to have to charge. Okay. So, with the milkshake. <laughs> Boys come to the yard for my milkshake. She says, so I could teach you, but I'm going to have to charge. All right, overseers. Overseer, your bitch can't be always giving it out for free. You know what I'm saying? Can't be giving out free milkshakes. You got this. <laughs> External energy is in Leo. All right, you have Leo moon as your external energy going with Saturn. And it advises you it is an important time to guard against being self-centered, over-opinionated, and pushy. And I do know that Virgos can't, you know, y'all can't be like that, you know. So you might need to lighten it up. Sarah's going to teach you how. He's here. He loves to teach. Internally, ooh, the moon in Cancer is hot for the holidays, okay? It's almost in everybody's chart. Not everybody, but almost. Almost doesn't count. Okay. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. Okay. So you don't want to... Um, you got good things going on here. Okay. So you don't want anything draining those emotions because then you can't create. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this one word reference. Whew, Lord, honey, I am sleepy. I'm just sleepy. Gotta get up in the morning. Do some things. I don't want to be late. Yes, honey. What's going down? What's going down with my beautiful overseers? Many things are going on. <laughs> you got many, many men. Okay, that was 50 Cent when he first came out. Many men. Maybe you got many men, you know. That's why you can't let it be draining your energies, you know what I'm saying? Shit's crazy. You know, they're trying to manifest you or something. Who knows? Many things, many men, many people, many places to go and see and do. I don't know. Many, but you should know if it resonates. And if it doesn't fit, please quit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get out these cards for the holidays. Home for the holiday reading. This is not necessarily working money, although that may be involved. We'll get back to that once I know I'm steady again with the messages. Hopefully, I can bring you one next week. But if not, at least you have something until after New Year's. These energies should take you until after New Year's, okay? And good luck with that. Overall energy is temperance. Not too bad. That is based on the Five of Cups. You can expect the Ace of Wands. That is stemming from the Four of Wands. With an outcome of the seven of wands. Conflict and or challenge and your supportive energies or your blessings. We'll get to that. But the underlying energy is confusion. Confusion with a sibling, a lover, a neighbor. All right. I'm hearing that love thy neighbor is thy own self. But sometimes that's hard to do. And you know, the sages say, live peaceably with all men as much as you can because some people don't want to live peaceably okay it's, it's not in reality but as much as you can live peaceably with all men but this could be a lover's quarrel a disagreement a misunderstanding this can also be um fog or um, interference okay i'm also hearing bad smells in the neighborhood, okay? And I'm also hearing trying to think smarter, trying to do the smart thing here when it comes to all of that. And the overall energy is patience. You know, patience. I get that. Look at this. Both of these angels are here. You know? I'm also hearing collaboration here in this underlying energy. Uh, this could be somewhere in your neighborhood where you actually walk into a mate that the heavens are putting together through um, Michael. Okay, and it may catch you off guard and be confusing, but you're trying to be smart about it because maybe you're not certain it's new. That it's taking patience, you know what I'm saying? Or trying for some of you um, having this conversation. You know, it's going to take patience. Um, you or, or them will have to be filled in on why or what's the mishap, the misunderstanding, the confusion it's all about. Okay, that's the overall energy for the holidays. Yeah, it's based on a law, some regrets here. Okay, so you or them or somebody has to reassess what happened? Because this could be a loss of friendships, feeling outside the bunch, you know, reassessing your emotions, your thoughts. And even though you do have support here, this is a significant loss, okay, to you. And maybe you're feeling somebody in about it. You know, maybe you're having drinks. You know, because you know that opens people up, the true serum. You know, yeah, the four wands. Stemming maybe from um, a dinner date, you know, an outing, you know, going to the mall. Um, 
this is definitely an open invitation, you know. For some this, people, this is school. Because, you know, you meet some of your best friends in school. You know, we're going to find out the reason. Okay. She wants me to use the African tarot. Again, I'm seeing, okay, again, I'm seeing being smart. About being smart, using your head. Something needs to be completed here. Something needed to be taken care of. Mm, underlying the energies. Look at that. Two, two, two. Write that down. Two, two. Excuse me. Two is the number of the moon as well. Okay. You know, the moon affects our mood, our comfort zone. Okay. And, I, and I'm hearing for some of you. Why? You know, why? Okay. Based on this loss, based on this separation. To some of you, it could be a job separation. You know, maybe it was due to um, this connection. You know? I don't know. What's the reason for us? The star card. Mmm. This is somebody who shines bright and who is aligned um, for whatever they do. They're aligned in the stars for that. They'll star wherever they go and in they're in their industry. It, it, it's a solution. It's 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 it's. They may have even traveled for this, you know, home for the holidays. This is what you're dealing with during the holidays. I'm hearing this is this is you or someone who nurtures their spirit. This could be uh, air sign, uh, particularly Aquarius, okay, or uh, a Leo, okay, a Libra. This could be you, Virgo. I don't know. With your stardom, you know, you being the solution to things. That's the reason for this four of wands based on this law. So this could be outside of you. Somebody feeling you in this week about it. Because this is a happy welcome, a happy invitation. And somebody's sorry they lost you. They have to think about the foolishness you know and they crying over spilt milk you know let bygones be bygones sometimes but for some reason and I'm hearing the house something something about the house maybe you live with them you go to their house you know you work for them in their house you were the solution I'm hearing soak and um, like soak, soaking yourself, soaking your feet and um, spiritual healing here. Cleansing, which was a solution, you know, to whatever was going on here. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Home for the holidays. So yeah, somebody's having having a hard time with this separation, because this is definitely a separation or a loss. A loss of friends or something. I keep hearing some foolishness. You know, some pettiness, maybe. I don't know. But this is all in the past. But what we have here in the expectation is um the thumbs up, the approval, the okay. Maybe this is you giving it or somebody giving it to you. You know, feeling ignited, stemming from this welcoming. You feel it's a smart move here based on this separation, based on this institution that you feel outside the walls, outside of it. Almost like cast away, a castaway.
I don't know if this was a voluntary separation or a force. But you're definitely being approved this week or you're proving it yourself. I'm hearing light a switch, light a match. I don't know what that means. Stemming from this invitation. We definitely deal with something uh, to relax or to heat up. Okay. But you're going to have a talk about it. Then you're going to approve it. Okay. Because they really miss you. You're one of a kind. You're the star. You're one of a kind. You're original. You're one of a kind. You, you know your worth. You know, uh, some of you are uh, an emotional healer. You know what I'm saying? And emotions also deal with your spirit. You know, you are the backyard solution. I'm also hearing travel here. Because the, the star can travel, she can go many places, take a take flights or whatnot. This is being capable. You know, you can arrive in a nick of time. You can arrive, you know, in a nick of time. Because sometimes flat flights are late, but they arrive in a nick of time, okay? For the holidays. This energy should carry you throughout the first of January. And I see the outcome is hard at work. Okay, you're hard at work, taking on a lot, doing your duties, multitasking, okay? For some of you, this is new. This is new, and you're taking on new responsibilities. Um, for some of you, this is office work, okay? Tabs and labels and things of that nature. Things that you enjoy doing, something that you love, gives you a good feeling. Um, you may take a lot of heat for stuff because of other people. You may have to take the heat from a lot of people because maybe you're the face in the of the place. You know, you're the face of the company, so you take the heat for the company. Anything that goes wrong, you have to tackle it with with vigor and, and professionalism and um, I'm hearing honesty. Yeah, because some of you, this is new based on this separation. Um, this could also be a hospital. All right, because we're dealing with healing here, physical and emotional healing here, which was the solution. Let's see what the conflict is for the holidays. It's the five of pentacles. This is necessity. I don't know if you need it or somebody else need it or, you, or helping the needy. You know, maybe this is something you need to think through um, based on this loss. This could, like I said, this could be a change. This could be a change of career, you know, but the conflict is necessities. You know, maybe your hours have changed. You're doing new duties. You have to take your lunch. You got to go to the store. You know, you got to do things maybe you didn't have to do before. I'm also hearing it's cold. That's a problem. It's cold. I don't know if you have to go outside. It's a difference here. Some of you have to tackle some things outdoors. It's cold. There's a conflict right now. It's it's Christmas. It's snowing. It's winter. Okay? I'm also hearing savings. That's a conflict. Savings. So maybe you don't feel like you'll be making enough to save or you didn't save. Maybe you have to go in your savings. Okay, to get what you need, that's the conflict for the holidays. But what's going to help you is the strength card, okay? Oh, it makes sense. Savings, maintaining, just maintaining, you know what I'm saying? Being conservative, doing things for yourself as opposed to, say, um, going out and getting it done. You know, maybe you need to do your own nails and do your own hair right now until you can build your savings back up and get back where you want to be. This is all new. 
but, the, but, but it is a kind of an abundance that you have to maintain. You have the abundance, but you have to maintain that abundance because this is it. You know, and it makes sense when I see Saturn. It's like when Saturn blesses you, it's like that's it. Now you're on your own. You have to maintain it, you know, because, um, you know, what this it says that um, when you are faithful over a few things, he'll make you a ruler over many. So maybe this is testing time to see how you can handle things and maintain before you get even more. You had a new start. This is what's going to help you. This is what's going to be your blessing. Some of you also may need to carry protection because of this environment that you're in. Okay? You may have to carry your protection. You may already have it or you may have to go purchase it. But you may need to carry protection. You may feel the need because there are roaring lions in this environment. And that may be what's coming up at you as well, okay? That's not to scare you. That's to prepare you. All right, so let's just see what your week or your holiday, home for the holiday summation would be. I'm going to sum it up. What does all of this mean for our overseers, our beautiful Virgos, sun, moon, rising, and cusp, their source? What does this mean for them? Please sum up their home for the holiday message. Back. It's time to go to bat, but you look happy, you know, it's, <laughs> it's time to, you know, um, I see it here, I see it here, okay, I see it here, I see it here in these environments, okay, this is a rough environment, but you have to go to bat, you know, um, tackling some things, you know, and, and enjoying it, and you seem like you're enjoying it quite well, <laughs> I don't know if you're whooping ass or knocking shit out, you know, getting it done. I don't know, but you will, okay? And don't be self-centered, over-opinionated, and pushy, okay? And don't let all of this stuff drain your emotion, okay? Because it can, because seven of wands can drain you as well as the strength card, okay? And you're dealing with your savings and your necessities because of this loss, yeah. All right. So you might have to go to bat. Wow. No wonder you need that peace. Thief. Theft. But did I say that? You might have to take some protection. Thief and theft. What the fuck? WTF at the bottom of the damn deck? Uh-uh. What's going on, bird? Let me move this. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Did I tell you some confusion in the neighborhood? Okay. With this divine angelic connection. Lord Jesus. Mmm, the truth. The truth about it. This stuff got something to do with something you perceive, okay? Like all bullshit aside, you, you can see it for what you see it for what it is. Whatever it is, it's all kinds of theft. You know, there's spiritual thievery and there's physical thievery. All right. You see it for what it is. And I'll just leave you to meditate on the rest of that. I'm going to close it out here. I know that it's a benefit to you, but um, if it didn't resonate, it's okay. If it doesn't fit or quit and just move on to the next one. That's why you need to get that chart. And hopefully I'll see you next week. If not, I'll see you soon. And thanks so much for stopping in. Happy holidays again. Hotep. Peace and one love.